Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, baby. You nervous? Yes. What's you nervous about, man? Okay. You look good, man. What's you nervous Cry. about? <laughs> Sit Welcome, down. family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Jessica and Trayvon. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow them to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. We thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. You may be seated. What makes a marriage last? Chains do not hold a marriage together. It is threads, hundreds of tiny threads which sew people together through the years. It is a partnership where both parties must give and take. What counts in making a marriage happy is not so much how compatible you are, but how you deal with incompatibility. It requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. The more you invest in a marriage, the more valuable it becomes. You may think that you know everything there is to know about one another, but that simply is just not possible. People change over time, and you will have to change together. The things that you love about each other now may become annoying after time. The secret to having a good marriage is to understand that marriage must be total, it must be permanent, and it must be equal. Don't marry the person you think you can live with. Marry the only person you think you can't live without. I now please ask for the parents of Jessica and Trayvon to please rise. This wedding is a celebration of family. It is the blending of two families that have been separate to this moment, but united from this day forward, blending their different traditions and strengthening the family tree. To honor this uniting of the families, Jessica and Trayvon wish to ask their parents' blessing. Do you <laughs> offer this couple your goodwill? Do you welcome Trayvon as a member of your family and give him your love and affection? Do you give this couple your goodwill? Do you welcome Jessica as a member of your family and give her your love and affection? Yes. Thank you. You may be seated. Will you, Trayvon, take this woman to be your wedded wife? Yes. Will you, Jessica, take this man to be your wedded husband? Yes. <laughs> Please join hands. My hands, Woody. <laughs> Nervous. Trayvon, please repeat after me. I, Trayvon. I, Trayvon. Choose you, Jessica. Choose you, Jessica. To be my partner. To be my partner. Loving of what I know of you. Loving of what I know of you. And trusting what I do not know yet. And trusting what I do not know yet. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. I vow to be your faithful partner. I vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as sorrow. And in joy and as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Jessica, please repeat after me. I, Jessica. I, Jessica. Take you, Trayvon. Take you, Trayvon. To be my partner. To be my partner. Loving of what I know of you. Loving of what I know of you. And trusting what I do not know yet. And trusting what I do not know yet. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. I vow to be your faithful partner. I vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. 
May we have the rings, please? Oh, you gonna drop. I don't know how to open it. Yo, you Excuse okay, me. big dog? You can take it. Appreciate you, sir. Step over here. Oh, you're fine. Oh, shit, I thought you were talking. I'm going to fall. Don't laugh if I fall. Me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. The hand shaking, baby? Yes. <laughs> you okay? Jessica, we're please good. repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. You ready to kiss me? Jessica and Trayvon <laughs> will now take part in a wine box ceremony. This box contains a bottle of wine, wine glasses, and a love letter from each to the other. The letters they have written describe the good qualities they find in one another, the reasons they fell in love, and the reasons for choosing to marry. The letters are sealed in individual envelopes and they have not seen what the other has written. Jessica and Trayvon, you have created your very own romantic time capsule to be opened on your first wedding anniversary. I recommend that you keep the box in a place of honor displayed in your home as a constant reminder of your commitment to each other. This box should only be opened on your first wedding anniversary. If there comes a time that you are not seeing eye to eye at that very moment, let this box be a reminder of all of the reasons you chose to marry. Never take your blessings of being together for granted. The romantic sentiments you wrote, the declaration of love, the clear thoughts about why you chose this person will help you put back on even ground. I just have one more thing for you to do. Please join hands looking at each other. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you promise to love each day together, tomorrow and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled with age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. May these hands continue to build a loving relationship that lasts a lifetime. By the power of your love and commitment, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got wow. It don't even matter. Oh, man. It don't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Straighten up your marine. Straighten up your marine, boy. You already know. <laughs> what's up, man? What's up, what's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's going on, man? Thank you, thank you, mama. What's up, I need to see you. What's up, Mika? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You good? Hard part over with now. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you.